Hi everyone, it's me Olya here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn several ways of saying I don't care in Ukrainian. But before we can do that, uh, I would like to quickly remind you that if you would like to and haven't yet, you can uh, follow me on my other social media. You can find uh, the names to all of them right here and the links to them down below in the description box. Also, if you enjoy my content and would like to support it financially, you can do that on Patreon and the link to my Patreon you can find down below in the description box as well. And be sure that your support is truly appreciated. So now we can finally start learning. So how do we say I don't care in Ukrainian? Literally, to say I don't care, you can say Meni bajduze. Meni bajduze. Meni bajduze. Meni bajduze literally means I don't care. If you want to learn more in detail how this um, structure has been created, you might want to watch uh, my video. And I will leave the link to this video somewhere here. For instance, oni znovu пішов дощ. А мені байдуже. Я сьогодні нікуди не збираюся йти. Oh no, it's raining again. Well, I don't care. I'm not going to go anywhere today. Мені байдуже. Я нікуди сьогодні не збираюся йти. Мені байдуже. I don't care. And the synonym to мені байдуже is мені все одно. Мені все одно. Мені все одно. Мені все одно. I don't care. Все одно means all the same. So it's all the same to me. I don't really care. Мені все одно. For instance, мені все одно куди їхати у відпустку. Я хочу лише, щоб там було тепло. Мені все одно куди їхати у відпустку. Я хочу лише, щоб там було тепло. I don't care where to go. For vacation, I only wanted to be a warm place. I only wanted to be warm there. Мені все одно. Мені все одно куди їхати. Мені все одно що робити. I don't care what to do. Мені все одно що дивитись по телевізору. I don't care what to watch on TV. Мені все одно що скажуть люди. I don't care what people will say. Мені все одно. Мені все одно. I don't care. Or a more standard equivalent of мені все одно is мені однаково. Мені однаково. Мені однаково. So мені все одно is more like spoken Ukrainian and мені однаково is more literary and standard language. For instance, we have this famous national great Ukrainian poet called Taras Shevchenko. And he has this very well known by Ukrainian poem, which starts with Мені однаково, чи буду я жить в Україні, чи ні? Мені однаково, чи буду я жить в Україні, чи ні? It means it doesn't matter to me, I don't care whether I will live in Ukraine or no. Мені однаково. Мені однаково. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Мені однаково. Мені однаково, чи буду я жити в Україні, чи ні. Мені однаково, чи буду я жити в Україні, чи ні. Чи хто згадає, чи забуде мене в снігу на чужині. Однаковісінько мені. В неволі виріс між чужими і неоплаканий своїми, в неволі плачучи, умру. І все з собою заберу, малого сліду не покину на нашій славній Україні, на нашій, не своїй землі. І не пом'яне батько з сином, не скаже синові, молись, молися сину за Україну. Його замучили колись, мені однаково. Чи буде той син молитися, чи ні? Та не однаково мені, як Україну злі люди присплять лукаві, і вогні її обкраденою збудять. Ох, не однаково мені. So, мені однаково means I don't care, but не однаково мені, не однаково means I do care, I care. Мені однаково, I don't care. Number three is мене не хвилює. Мене не хвилює. Мене не хвилює. It comes from the verb хвилювати. Хвилювати means to bother, to concern, to disturb, you know, things like that. 
So if you say mana ne chvilluje, you say it doesn't concern me, it doesn't bother me, or I don't care, okay? That does not concern me. This is not my concern. Mana ne chvilluje. Mana ne chvilluje. Mana ne chvilluje. Uh, for instance, jiji ne chvilluje čuži počutja. Jiji ne chvilluje čuži počutja. She is not concerned by other feelings. Jiji ne chvilluje čuži počutja. Or she doesn't care about others' feelings. Jiji ne chvilluje čuži počutja. Very similar in meaning to mane ne chvilluje is the phrase mane ne obhodit. Mane ne obhodit. Mane ne obhodit. So uh, the verb obhodit in uh, a figurative sense means exactly the same that chvilluvate. It also means to concern, to, to make somebody worried, to make somebody interested, to bother somebody, to disturb somebody, things like that. So if you say mane ne obhodit, you mean that's not my concern. I am not concerned by this. This does not concern me. Mane ne obhodit. Mane ne obhodit. For instance, mane ne obhodit vaši problemy. Mane ne obhodit vaši problemy. Mane ne obhodit vaši problemy. I'm not concerned by your problems. I don't care about your problems. Your problems aren't my concern. Mane ne obhodit vaši problemy. Mane ne obhodit means I don't care. Or to be more specific, this is not my concern. This doesn't bother me. This does not concern me. Mane ne obhodit. It is very similar in meaning to mane ne chvilluje. You can say mane ne chvilluje or mane ne obhodit. Also, a phrase number five that can be used in that context um, is mane ne cikavit. Mane ne cikavit. I'm not interested, so I don't want to hear that. I, I don't care about that. I'm not interested. Mane ne cikavit. Mane ne cikavit. For instance, let's make a sentence in the past tense for a difference. Kerivnika ne cikavili prečini moho zapiznenja. Kerivnika ne cikavili prečini moho zapiznenja. Kerivnika ne cikavili prečini moho zapiznenja. The boss didn't care um, or wasn't interested in the reasons of me being late. The boss didn't care uh, for the reasons of me being late. So, ne cikavit means not interested, doesn't care. Mane ne cikavit, I'm not interested, uh, I don't care. So, if you are the boss, you would say, I don't care for the reasons why you are late. Mane ne cikavlet prečini vašo zapiznenja. Mane ne cikavlet prečini vašo zapiznenja. You should be on time and I don't care about nothing. Because I am the boss. Another phrase you can use is ne maje značenja. Ne maje značenja. Ne maje značenja. Uh, literally means doesn't have meaning or in English it doesn't matter. Ne maje značenja. Doesn't matter. Ne maje značenja. Ne maje značenja. Ne maje značenja means doesn't matter. Uh, for instance, možete prijti sjogodnji abo zavtra. Коли саме не має значення. Можете прийти сьогодні або завтра. Коли саме не має значення. Можете прийти сьогодні або завтра. Коли саме не має значення. You can come uh, today or tomorrow. When exactly doesn't matter. Не має значення. Не має значення means doesn't matter. Another phrase which is very similar to не має значення is Bez riznici. Bez riznici. Bez riznici. Uh, riznica means difference. Riznica. Bez means without. So bez riznici literally translates as um, without difference. Or in English you can say no difference or doesn't matter. Bez riznici. Bez riznici means no difference. Bez riznici. Bez riznici. It would usually be used when you are given choice. Like, would you like this or that? And then you say, I don't really care. Both options are okay for me. 
А for instance, ти більше любиш чай чи каву? Без різниці. Or, мені без різниці. Ти більше любиш чай чи каву? Do you prefer tea or coffee? Без різниці. No difference. I don't care. Без різниці. Без різниці. No difference. Doesn't matter. Без різниці. Another phrase, number eight, if I count it correctly, is an idiom. It is ні холодно, ні жарко. Ні холодно, ні жарко. If you have to translate it literally, it says neither cold nor hot. Ні холодно, cold, ні жарко, hot. Ні холодно, ні жарко. Usually, this phrase would be used together with words від того, from that, or від цього, from this. Okay, so from this, I neither feel uh, cold or hot. There is no difference, I don't care. It doesn't make me cold. It doesn't bother me, it doesn't concern me. It doesn't influence me in any way. It doesn't make me feel hot or it doesn't make me feel cold. No difference. So, for instance, мене звати Степан і я відомий в інстаграмі блогер. А мені від того ні холодно, ні жарко. My name is Stepan and I'm a big famous blogger on Instagram. Well, it makes no difference for me. It doesn't make me cold or hot. I don't care, Stepan. Sorry. Or another instance, let's say, ти знаєш, що по понеділках вхід до музею вільний? Ти знаєш, що по понеділках вхід до музею вільний? Мені від того ні холодно, ні жарко. Я по понеділках працюю. Мені від того ні холодно, ні жарко. Я по понеділках працюю. So, do you know that the entrance to the museum is free on Mondays? Well, it does nothing for me. I don't care because I work on Mondays. Ні холодно, ні жарко. Ні холодно, ні жарко. Usually used with від того о від цього. Від цього ні холодно, ні жарко. Ні холодно, ні жарко. I don't care. Number nine is another idiom expression, which is море по коліна. Море по коліна. Море по коліна. We would use море по коліна to talk about somebody who is really careless or maybe fearless even. If you have to translate the meaning of this phrase literally, then we will have море. Море means sea, okay, море. And по коліна means until the knees. По коліна, until the knees. So if somebody feels like the sea reaches their knee level, it means that um, they consider themselves so big, so important, that even the sea looks very little to them, and they care very little about what is going on around them, okay? So, more po kolina is a phrase used by Ukrainians to describe somebody careless or even fearless, okay? Usually, a phrase like that uh, would be used together with a personal pronoun or a name uh, in dative case. For instance, мені море по коліна, йому море по коліна, Степану море по коліна, Світлані море по коліна, etc. For instance, I found a phrase in Ukrainian literature, so I'm going to read it. Коли ти з конем, тобі море по коліна, можна з ким завгодно балакати. Коли ти з конем, тобі й море по коліна. Можна з ким завгодно балакати. When you are with a horse, when you have a horse with you, then you can be careless or you can be fearless. Then you couldn't care less. You can talk to anybody. Море по коліна. Море по коліна. Careless, fearless. Another phrase which I think by linguists would be considered slang is по барабану. По барабану. По барабану. Барабан means drum. So по барабану, onto the drum. For instance, бити по барабану, to beat the drum. По барабану. 
Mani po barabanu. I don't care. Yumu po barabanu. He doesn't care. Po barabanu. Po barabanu. There is another version of this uh, expression, which I think uh, is more commonly used in the western side of Ukraine. Uh, it is po cymbalach. Po cymbalach. Cymbale is also a musical, you know, instrument. So po cymbalach. Mani po cymbalach. I don't care. Mani po cymbalach. Or mani po barabanu. Mani po barabanu. Mani po cymbalach. I don't care. Couldn't care less. Uh, for instance, you move se po barabanu. You move se po barabanu. He cares about nothing. You move se po barabanu. Another instance, zavtra bude dosh. A meni po cymbalach. Vizmu parasolu i vse odno pidu huljate. Tomorrow it is going to rain. Well, I don't care. I will take an umbrella and I will go for a walk anyway. Meni po barabanu. Meni po cymbalach. I don't care. And now this another extra bonus phrase number 11 is um, also considered a slang, but it is, uh, I will say, on the edge of being a sort of almost a profanity. It's not, but some people, like elderly people or strangers, if you use this phrase to them, could be offended. So personally, if a stranger would say something like that to me, like I wouldn't be offended, by, but I would be surprised. And I will not think highly about this person's vocabulary. You know, if somebody is saying something like that to a stranger, then you think that, you know, they just don't know better. Okay, so make sure, even though I would use a phrase like that, you know, in a very informal situation together with people who I know really well. So yeah, be careful with this one if you want to stay respectful and make sure to use it only with people that you know really well, who are your buddies and when the situation is really informal. So the phrase itself is many pofih, or you can uh, meet a pofihu sometimes, pofihu or pofi. So it also means I don't care. So many pofihu, I don't care in a very slendish way. I don't give it you know what I'm saying? Uh, for instance, to be nelichitsa futbolka. A mini pofih. This t shirt doesn't really look good on you, doesn't suit you. Well, I don't care. I don't give a. You know. So you got me. Be careful with this one if you want to stay respectful. So, yeah, that's all the ways, the variety of ways uh, to say I don't care in Ukrainian. I hope you enjoyed this video. Which one was your favorite? Do let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that we can learn Ukrainian together. And traditionally, thank you very much for all my patrons for your support. This is really awesome and I really, really appreciate that. And I will see you in my next video, hopefully very soon. Bye!